my friends. Now this is the second creepy crawly on my list. The Charan the Oleander Hawk Moth Larva. Now these larvae eat a poisonous plant called the Oleander, as you can see right there. And so that's why they have a contrasting color. It's a it's a warning to other predators like birds li and lizards and etc don't eat me i'm a poisonous larva who can kill you if you dare to eat me see that's mimicry right there but the, some predators can't be fooled that easily some birds and most wasps aren't fooled by this mimicry then it moves on to its second technique it can roll its entire head and neck. And uh, it's, that's, that's because those are its most vulnerable pot and spots. But if it's not, if the predator still keeps coming, then the, this, this larva will release its last defense. It vomits out its pre-digested meals. You see... If a predator comes and then it vo just vomits out its, uh, you know, pre-digested meal, oops, then it'll seem less appetizing. And the predator would just leave it alone and then the, the larva can just continue on with its business. Yeah, but, so, this entire oleander bush that belongs to an old grandpa is completely covered with oleander hawk moths and and they're both big and they're both small very small to the very large ones right here so to help this grandpa deal with this infestation we're gonna take every single caterpillar out of this oleander bush from the ascending order smallest to biggest all right so let's go on so we'll start with the smallest here first one Hmm. Now where is that second one? Hmm. I know it's here somewhere in this branch. Ah, here. Come on, little guy. We're gonna hit you. Oh, it did the vomit. Even, I forgot to mention, even the youngest of caterpillars can do this special defensive trick. Mm. Oh, wait a minute. Mm. Oh, come on. Oh, I did the vomit again. Just gotta bear it. You gotta have good guts if you want to deal with these kinds of creatures and their weird defenses. In you go. Come on, b little big guy. It's so hard. But toward the effort. Gotcha. Oh, and this one didn't even do the vomit trick. Hm. Is it all? Not sure. You have to check the leaves. Oh, here's one. Oh, yeah. It's like an infestation. Yeah. And this grandpa didn't even know it. No. 16, 17. 17 of these caterpillars are all here. In one bush. 
Well, you might be asking, can we take these guys home and raise them to be giant moths? Well, the answer is yes. They're a pretty adaptable species. So, bye, bye until next time.